Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as you may know, it's Tableau Tip Week here at the Data School. So what I'll be doing today is running through my today's tip, uh, which will be about using a parameter to highlight your graph within Tableau. So as you can see, I've got Tableau open here. And what I'm going to do is open Sample Superstore and let it populate. Um, as you can see, it's uh, split out my dimensions and measures and added in a couple of the other things that this sample data set um, sorts out. So for instance, hierarchies and sets. But what I want to do is just create a really simple um, view right now. So I'll just um, add sales um, and split it by category. And what I want to do now is highlight one of these, where, which I want the user to be able to select. So in order to do this, I have to create a parameter. So what I can do is go over to this area here, right click and create a parameter. I'm going to call this um, choose a category. I want it to be a string and then click list. So what I can do here is actually add the um, strings from M fields rather than typing them out. Um, so adding in the category like this will populate from the dimensions field over here into Tableau, and this actually has split out all of this, um, uh, what's it called, the dimensions I can use because these are the ones that contain a string as I've um, chosen them up here. So I'll just click OK, and my parameter pops up here. And if I right click here, I can then show the parameter control. And what this will do, as you can see, is pop up this dialog box on the top right hand side, which um, it enables me, gives me a drop down box to select my category. Now as you can see it's not actually done anything as I flick through it. So this is because it, all it's done is said that this is a dialog box that you want to you know, change but it's not actually computing anything on the view and in order for it to do that I need to create a calculated field. So I right click on the right, left hand side again, create a calculated field. Let's call this our category parameter calculation and what we want here is a case statement so we want to we want what we want this parameter to do is if it's selected we want the view to change color on just that um, category so we want a case statement so we'll use if the choose a category which is what this is called choose a category and as you said as you saw I as I started typing it started to populate what I could be choosing Tableau sort of intelligently understood and this the fact that it's purple tells me that's a parameter so if the choose a category is equal to the category field again and um, this gives me again the populated view from the dimensions then I want it to return a true let's say else I want it to be false. End. So let's see what this does. Let's press OK. The calculation is valid. And it pops up on this left hand side with the dimensions. And what I'll do is drag this to color. And boom, you can see that the um, office supplies, which is what's selected over here, is actually highlighted in different color because if it's selected, then it's true, and true is given as the orange color. Now if I filter through these, you can see it changes. What I think is really cool is if you've got a hierarchy as we've got here, so we can see over here that it's a product hierarchy with this symbol here, this visual cue, category, subcategory, but also by this plus on the blue pill. So I click on the plus, it'll split out. And what it will do is because we are um, highlighting at the category level and we've defined the hierarchy, um, it's anything that's underneath it will be highlighted. So now if I want to say sort it by descending by the same field within the subcategory, I can do that. And then I can just change this maybe to a single select value list. And that will just enable me to just click it rather than doing the drop down with two clicks. And say let's I want to change the colors. I can go to edit colors and I want true to be um, our red. And this one to be a nice purple color. I don't know why you do that, um, but if that's your preference, you can. Um, and yeah, so the other beautiful thing about this is as long as the category, which is what your calculated field um, here is calculated upon, is in the view, if I put this on the marks card and then say put on profit, 
We get or Tableau then creates a scatter plot because you've got two measures on columns and rows. And what you can do again is further split it out. So if I want to click the plus here, uh, Tableau would repopulate your um, cells down to the subcategory level um, and even further down, say, to the manufacturer level. And again, if I just select through these, I just want to change it back to the default so I can go back to edit colors and just assign the palette. Press OK. So I can see the orange. Maybe I want to change the shape to be um, a field. And then let's say put quantity on size so it's bigger. And uh, yeah, as you can see, just quickly I can just flick through and um, you can see that the um, values and points within the scatter plot change color. So where would this be useful? Well, for me, I think that this would be really useful on a dashboard um, where you are trying to enable the user to explore and find out more and if they want to sort of define further, like see if some sort of trend or find a certain, maybe if you know, it's um, a product, they want to see a certain product and see how that maps out. Um, or you know a certain cluster of brands, and if you if you have created a hierarchy, this function of drilling out and drilling in actually seems really cool to just further investigate the data. Okay, so thanks for listening, and I hope you've learned a lot from my Tableau tip of the day.